you guys can all assume you guys already know like i'm not gonna hide that we, we already know like it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out what happened um without saying it i think you guys know um you guys know i think you guys know what he did Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another fabulous video. Well, I hope it's going to be fabulous anyway, but <laughs> to some people it might not be. I got a lot of strife the last time I talked about these. Apparently I, I should be leaving them alone. Their stands came for me big time. And they told me that I was picking on the family. I wasn't picking on anybody just reporting on what's happening you know is it my fault that they're getting divorced is it no i didn't decide anyway so <laughs> our life it's our life and um kendall and daniel's divorce maybe divorce maybe not divorce they haven't decided yet kendall has been very explicit about this in her recent video she says they don't know she doesn't know it's all very soon she's seen a lawyer she's seen this she's seen that she's she's got advice she knows her rights which is good i guess are we getting a divorce that is the question of everybody well everybody just assumes that i've already got papers and i've handed him the papers and we're i'm filing for divorce and that's first of all it's just not that simple um and it's not that easy to answer i can't it, are we i don't know i don't know i don't know what's gonna happen i am taking it day by day um i did have a meeting with an attorney i know my rights i know how to proceed if i choose um you know are we gonna stay together i don't know are we gonna divorce i don't know it's not easy to answer and but I can understand it. It's only recent, isn't it? I think she hasn't. They have not actually said how recent it actually is. So the thing I have an issue with, right? Since they've done the the life update vlog where Kendall told us all about how Daniel had moved out and you know they were splitting up and everything like that, it they've done five vlogs. And each and every single one of them has been titled around the the separation. There's been a few directly, I think three have been directly addressing things about the separation. And the other ones have been titled in a way, like even Christmas morning, Christmas morning, it said the title was Christmas morning things looked a lot different this year and obviously that's a, a suggestion around the fact that the dad is not there anymore and not with them on Christmas morning this year you know so they couldn't even leave it one day just just they needed to get that bit in there and then another one was um evie checking in on evie making sure she's okay you know regarding the the separation obviously the last the last update i gave on this situation was the fact that kendall had actually outed daniel for having an affair or cheating on her you guys can all assume you guys already know like i'm not gonna hide that we we already know like it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out what happened um, without saying it. I think you guys know. Um, you guys know. I think you guys know what he did. She didn't say it exactly, but that's what she meant. I think we can all agree on that. And, you know, that's, that's bad enough. I mean, if, if he's cheated on her, you know that's horrendous but it shouldn't be put out there for all the kids to you know she's got kids right and that's their dad so they you don't want that out there to all their kids friends and stuff it's just just no i 
can't stress that enough. And then um, she's done a, a. She went on yesterday to say about the the living arrangements. It's really weird. Okay, I I can't. Oh, not weird. And I'll tell you why in a second. Okay, she says that Daniel is actually still living in the house. So they've separated. They've split up. She hates him to his very core. But Daniel is still living there in the family home. She feels it's important for the children. Um, I, I did want to let you know that um, Daniel is staying at the house. Um, I just felt it was important for um, just normalcy um, with the family. Is it hard for me? Yeah, it is. Is it roses and, and butterflies and rainbows? Absolutely not. It's hard, but uh, we need to do this right now for the kids. So it is hard. Now, a couple of vlogs ago, she actually stated when all this came out, she she stated that she hated him and she was having thoughts about whether or not she should even let him see his kids at all. She was like saying, I'm not, I don't want him, you know, it had gone through my mind not to let him even see them whatsoever because I don't want him to have that right. But she relented and decided, yeah, it is the right, I guess, it's the right thing to do and the kids need to see their dad. Uh, or is Daniel seeing the kids? Yes. Um, when things first came out, um, yeah, it was literally anger that was not even the word um, and I wanted to prevent him from seeing the kids I wanted to punish him for what he had done to me and the hurt that he had caused me um, and I didn't want him to see the kids I was disgusted by him by his behavior you guys can all assume you guys already know like I'm not gonna hide that we, we already know like doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out what happened um, without saying it I think you guys know um, you guys know I think you guys know what he did um, <clears throat> so because I've been feel so hurt and betrayed the ultimate betrayal like I can't even express to you how that feels um, I wanted I didn't want him to see my kids I didn't think he deserved to see them. But um, at the end of the day, they're still his kids and they still love him and he still loves them. And um, the right thing to do is to let him see his kids. And by law, he's still their dad. I can't do anything about that. I can't, I can't stop him from seeing his children. But now it's gone like false, you know, done a 180 or whatever and it turns out that he's not only not not been denied access to his kids but he's actually living in the house with them so i don't see how in a few short days she's come from that level of anger to the level which we have now and that is yeah, you're allowed to live in the house. That that doesn't mean to say that she is altogether happy with him just because she's allowing him to live there. You know, I mean, different people do different things. You know, I mean, I've, I've been in situations where it's... The living arrangements get a bit muddled up when these things happen. So I kind of get why... He might be allowed to live there again or to stay there, you know, as long as I guess he stays out of the way of this. They stay out of the way of each other. So it's not I'm not saying that it's completely weird. It's not different. People do different things. And that's all I can say about that, I guess. Kendall is, is taking on this, taking on the whole responsibility of the vlog now and uh, 
and apparently Daniel knows everything that he, she's saying in the vlogs because he watches them so he's okay with everything that's going on and also when Kendall was filming Evie she's 18 and she is apparently old enough to make up her own mind whether or not she wants to share things on the vlog since Evie is the oldest of the family she is 18 she's an adult so she has full rights to say whatever she wants when she wants how she wants <laughs> and or not at all how are you feeling i'm okay you're doing good yeah i'm doing good better better definitely better. okay I'll good better. yeah is your heart better we always say heart who says heart where do we get that from said it. oh yeah when cap was little she would say instead of heart she'd say heart um, and shout baby shout how's your heart my heart's good my heart's better, better. it's better yeah just day by day slowly getting better yeah and this is a little bit of a gray area for me basically she's saying that because she's 18 she's old enough to make her up her own mind now but that's not to say that she's not been pushed into sharing things and putting things out there that she otherwise might not want to just you know because it's her mother asking her to her mother's pointing a camera at her so it doesn't mean to say that she's altogether happy with it also by saying that because evie's 18 she's old enough to make up her own mind does that mean to say that the the other kids who are younger who you are sharing details about they're not old enough to make up their own mind about it, but you continue to do it anyway. I I don't really get what you're trying to say there. There's a few different ways you could be looking at that. That, I feel, is a bit wrong either way. And to be honest, Evie did not look altogether enthused about... <laughs> about having to talk about this on camera i'm just saying it just to me that's how it felt and the other thing i want to mention and this is completely off topic because i just sometimes family vlogging is a little bit weird well no it's, it's always weird it's not even a little bit but kendall took the two younger girls to the shops the shopping mall and to spend their christmas money and whilst they were in there they were in a shop and kendall was encouraging her 13 year old daughter to do cartwheels in the middle of a shop now i don't know if you've ever been in a shop and you see these kids running about amongst you know but young kids they're running about and they're being a bit annoying and you don't want that and it's it's quite disrespectful to everybody else and and you sh the parents shouldn't be encouraging those kids to be running about in a store right but this is a 13 year old child who is not a young child but she is saying to her do a cartwheel go on do that car well go on and she's actually filming it and <laughs> and her kid is trying to do a cartwheel over and over and over and over and over again and i'm like why are you why are you encouraging this why I and mean, why why would you do that it is really <laughs> i i don't get her whatsoever i'm thinking as a mother you would stop that behavior you would tell them hey hang on you're 13 now come on you, you're not a child anymore come on bring it back in but no she is saying do it do it do it oh, <laughs> okay let's do it do a good one do a good one cap come oh, on no. do it come on that's gonna hurt Tuck it. have fun with that okay girl i'm just kidding I'm <laughs> <laughs> she can't she's not gonna do it and i my mind is like exploding <laughs> It's going my my levels my tension my tense levels are going up and up and up and i'm thinking what the fuck are you doing seriously anyway yeah that was just something off off the cuff off um off topic that happened and i was like what 
the other thing that's happening is that they have put the house back on the market they were gonna they had this whole thing for a long time if you've been following them you'll know they had this thing for a long time where they were they were struggling to sell the house because they had the house priced too high and they were they couldn't get rid of it people were there are lots of people viewing the house it's a lovely house and they were always always told that they loved the house but that it was too expensive and yet they would not bring the price down eventually they decided not to sell because obviously they couldn't get rid of it and now they've just obviously with the situation now they decided to sell again so they put it back on the market and kendall says that they're not going to buy again they are going to rent so that's quite a big move because um it'll be a big change for the kids you know going from a big lovely luxurious paid for house your own property and then to nothing a rented apartment or rented house it it will be a big change so prepare for that Kendall please anyway thank you all so much for joining me today I hope you've had a lovely new year eaten plenty of food drunken drunken drinking plenty of wine champagne perhaps if you're a bit more well off than the rest of us and maybe a a tip bit of beer <laughs> please come back again i'll try to update you with a bit more information as i get it on this situation and come back again soon for another video subscribe if you're new by the way and welcome to all the newbies. Take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.